Probably one of the biggest debates in anime history is which is better, anime or manga? Let's talk about it. Anime is a form of animation that originates from Japan and often features vibrant visuals, voice acting, and sound effects. It can bring a story to life in a way that can be visually stunning, captivating, and emotionally engaging. On the other hand, manga is the Japanese term for comic and graphic novel. Manga typically offers more in-depth and detailed stories than anime, as it has more pages to explore characters, settings, and plot development. It also allows the reader to imagine the characters and the world in their own unique way, as they have to fill in the gaps with their imagination. But let's break it down even further, starting with anime. One of the biggest things I hear when it comes to people enjoying manga more than anime is that they want to support the creator. But who says you're not supporting the creator when buying a Crunchyroll or Funimation account? Regardless of where you're buying your manga, whether it's Viz, Amazon, or Indigo, that retailer is taking a portion of the money to themselves. At least when purchasing a subscription, you get a better value of your money and you're able to watch a plethora of animes compared to reading one volume. Another key element in anime is voice acting, animation, and soundtrack. A series that comes to mind when I think about amazing animation, 10 out of 10 voice acting, and a soundtrack that'll have me humming it all day is Attack on Titan, specifically season 1 through 3. An extremely fantastic animation studio like WIT does a perfect job of taking an amazing manga series and making the anime 10 times better. When it comes to animation, you don't get moments like Levi flying away from Kenny, the scouts flying across town, or even something as simple as Aaron pointing at a beach looking outstanding. And when you compare it to the manga, it's simply night and day. I feel like it'd be cheating using Attack on Titan in this debate, but there are plenty of studios that have taken amazing mangas and flipped them upside down. For example, Demon Slayer, Hunter x Hunter, Full Metal Alchemist, Yu Yu Hakusho, Mob Psycho 100, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Bochi the Rock, and a lot more. Although yes, there are a lot of bad adaptations for manga series, I don't think it's fair to compare them unless they were given a fair chance by a good studio. Hold on a second, manga is not out of this fight yet. I know I was just praising a lot of these series for their amazing adaptations, but when it comes to manga's art, it no diffs, no question. I was scrolling on my For You page and stumbled across a creator comparing manga to anime. I'm gonna put the creator's ad on my screen because I'm gonna be using his content, but let's compare some of these big name series and how well they adapted chapters. Also, the text on the pictures are not mine once again, they're the creators. Starting with the big three, here's a photo of Zoro's introduction in the manga compared to the anime. It doesn't give the same eeriness, it doesn't give the same vibe. Here's another one from Bleach, as you can see, Ichigo from the manga, a lot more detailed, a lot cooler. And then the anime just does an awful job in comparison. Another one, Sasuke, not as bad, great detail, looks great. But once again, compared to the manga, the detail is just much different. And then the background just makes it a lot more eerie. And a lot of you thinking, well, those guys were made a lot longer ago. How about the newer guys? Here's one of Vinland Saga, and you know, he. Thorkel, he looks intimidating and looks pretty good. And then when you compare it to the manga, night and day, he looks like he's literally about to scare me shitless. Like I was reading the chapters and I was beyond shocked because I watched Vinland Saga first and then I picked up the manga and I was in disbelief when I saw the comparison. Another new gen, Blue Lock, and this looks great. The detail's amazing. But when you look at the manga, you see they put a lot more detail everywhere, not just on the lion in the previous photo, but a lot of detail in also the characters and the ground and also even more detail on the lion. Another new gen, To Your Eternity, and you know what, look, it doesn't look that bad, but when you compare it to the manga, the negative space in the background just makes it a lot better. This panel is from Hunter x Hunter, and you look at the anime and it, you, you know what, like it looks perfect. You, you honestly couldn't nitpick. You got the detail everywhere, you got the coloring, Everything feels just perfect with this one, but when I compare it to the manga, at the end of the day, I just feel like the manga is a little more detailed and I enjoy it a lot more. And a final comparison for the segment I'm going to give you is One Piece. You got to remember, One Piece is a weekly manga. 
this was drawn within a week and it looks great for a shonen. And then when you compare it to what Toei did, and it looks like Toei spat in our faces with a flying balloon animal, right? Like it just, you cannot compare the two because the art in manga just looks that much better compared to the anime. And those are big name series with adaptations. How about art from mangas that could never be replicated into an anime? Like Vagabond, Berserk, Pun Pun, Fire Punch, Kingdom, Climber, One Punch Man, Akira, A Bride Story, and a lot more. As I conclude that segment, let's talk about the pros of reading manga. Personally, I find the biggest pro about reading manga is how well paced it is compared to anime. I'm currently reading Vagabond, Vagabond video coming soon by the way, and I'm not joking. I'll be sitting, admiring the art, enjoying this beautiful journey. I look up at the chapters and I'll find out that I read 40 to 70 chapters in a sitting of a seinen, mind you. And we don't even have to mention shonen that are quick reads like Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen, Tokyo Revengers, My Hero, any of the new gen shonen. And it's because it's better paced so you can get a quicker and better feel for the stories and characters compared to watching anime adapt like one to six chapters per episode. One point I want to come back to that I mentioned earlier is imagination. One of the unique advantages of manga over anime is that it allows the reader to use their imagination to fill in gaps in the story, which can create a more personal and engaging experience. Unlike anime, which is a visual medium that presents a predetermined depiction of characters and settings. Manga relies on the reader's imagination to bring the story to life. For example, in a manga, the author might not show every detail of a character's appearance or every aspect of a setting, leaving some elements of the reader's imagination. This allows the reader to create their own mental image of the character or setting based on the details provided which can make the story feel more immersive and personal. Moreover, in manga, the reader can take their time to study the artwork and details at their own pace, which can help them develop a deeper understanding and appreciation of the story. By contrast, anime typically moves at a faster pace and may not allow the viewer to linger on specific details as much. In conclusion, the debate whether anime or manga is better ultimately comes down to personal preference. Both anime and manga have their own unique strengths and weaknesses, and each medium can offer different kinds of entertainment experiences. Ultimately, whether you prefer anime or manga depends on what kind of experience you're looking for. If you enjoy dynamic animation and immersive soundtrack, anime might be the better choice for you. However, if you prefer more detailed storytelling and the opportunity to use your imagination to create your own mental images of the story, manga might be the better choice. I personally prefer both, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Like the video if you want to see more content like this. There's still more to unravel on this topic. Maybe Nathan and I can make a part two. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.